Thank you for watching. This is uh, something that I really did not see coming. Axial Rising comes out with uh, two Yeti Junior versions. Uh, I, I can imagine this is like really super entry level, low budget, perhaps for the for the younger people out there, or for people who really want to, I don't know, like take their uh, RCs on them to places where perhaps you're not supposed to have an RC. Uh, these are 18 scale. Um, I will go over uh, both uh, versions. Let's do this one uh, first. This is the Yeti Junior uh, Rock Racer. This one is of course based off of the, the 10 scale Yeti. Over here you see the kit. Don't be thrown off by the beetle body that I put on there. Um, if you would see this one with the stock body, it actually really looks like uh, this one. So they just uh, scaled it down a tiny bit, put on those uh, big wheels and tires. I think it looks cool uh, from what I can see on the box at least. The other one is the Yeti Junior Score, which is of course based off of the Yeti Score, uh, which you see over here. This uh, started also, this one started out as a kit. Um, I think. Well, also based on box art, this thing looks uh, really cool. You see kind of the same differences going on with uh, the Yeti score compared to the regular Yeti with the wheels being a lot smaller. But most of the layout of the car is actually pretty similar. Let's uh, rip this box open first. Let's get rid of all these cars and uh, let's see what you get inside. This thing is ready to run. It means uh, that it comes complete. It comes with uh, batteries. Even for your radio, it means that it comes with uh, a battery to actually run the car. It means that it comes with a charger and it means that it comes with like manual and all that stuff. Let's uh, rip this box open. I've already ripped it open before. Uh, I mean, I needed to see if it was completely complete just so I don't have any nasty surprises during this video. But just so you know how it comes uh, packaged. Um, there's a few things, bits and bobs, uh, sitting in the compartment over here. Uh, let's uh, take that out and I can uh, take you over it and I'll show you what you actually get. If you take this big bag out, uh, well, this is of course one of the most important parts. Uh, this is the manual. Uh, as always, it looks, uh, looks like a very clear manual. I'm pretty sure it's no different on the inside axial. Always does a great job. Uh, making comprehensible uh, instruction manuals. Um, you get uh, a bag with some uh, goods, so you get some uh, uh, AA batteries. These are for your uh, radio, so it takes four AA batteries. Cool that those are included as well. You get a battery. Now I know that in the past I have been uh, bitching on people including uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries. Uh, with small car like this, I don't really mind because I mean it doesn't add a whole lot of shipping weight and I have uh, been corrected in the comments field in the past by people telling me that uh, there's a reason why people don't ship LiPos with these type of uh, vehicles and that has everything to do with the flight restrictions and whatnot. So seeing a battery included is cool. Uh, this is a 1300 milliamp Onyx battery, so it is actually uh, a known and uh, a quality product. Uh, Joratrax branded. Really strange plug to it. I'm not sure if you can uh, see it. Uh, I will make sure that you get a close up of it, but this is a plug that I have never seen before. Now, it also explains perhaps why uh, you get like uh, its own charger with it. So, inside this white box, you will find a USB charger so you just plug this into whatever USB device it is that you uh, that you have plug the battery in there and this will uh, charge it for you very lightweight very compact so you can uh, you can really bring this everywhere you want bubble wrap always cool on the big sucker for uh, bubble wrap this is a radio that I have never ever seen before it's a uh, tactic branded if you have uh, been perhaps uh, following my my uh, more recent unboxings. I have seen a lot of tactic radios now in the past. Uh, there was one with my uh, Axial SEX10 version 2 ready to run. A different type than this one. Uh, there was one with my uh, Axial Gravedigger, the SMT10, and also with my uh, Arma Nero. That one also came with uh, a tactic radio. These are all Hobby Co products, so that perhaps explains it a tiny bit. Now, you don't expect to get like a super high quality, not even maybe a full size radio with a car like this, but I think that they really did a great job of including radio that at least uh, fits my hand uh, properly. This is something that feels uh, like it could also be included with, for example, a 10 scale. Um, I like how it feels. It has like a foam wheel going on. There's steering trim and uh, throttle trim on the top with uh, a power button. There's no antennas, nothing is really exposed. You don't have to really worry about range because if you drive this thing far away from you, chances are that you will not be able to see it at all. So uh, I have no worries that this thing is going to perform the way it should. Again, it takes four AA batteries that will also add a tiny bit of weight, making 
making it feel I think even better than uh, than it already does so with this I'm uh, I'm quite happy with uh, for example some of those uh, uh, HPI micro cars that they had at some point you got a really shit radio and this is not that um, let's pull the car out of the box now I have to tell you that uh, you do need some uh, pliers just to cut the zip ties or uh, some scissors because this thing does come zip tied to this uh, frame uh, in the back here you see uh, a cartoon Yeti I think that's pretty funny I of course already I cut the zip ties just because I wanted to uh, check this thing out so then once you take it out of the box completely it looks like this you get some spare parts so there's some uh, shock caps over here uh, shock caps that would also accommodate for example uh, a reservoir uh, there's a, a cross wrench included so in case you do bust something because of, well for example a shock cap I can imagine that at some point perhaps will uh, give uh, there's some new ones included for you right in this bag so you can just keep it running now if you look at this thing I think they did an amazing job of capturing the shape of that uh, 10 scale Yeti and just downsizing it to uh, 18 scale. It looks deceivingly detailed. And why do I say deceivingly detailed? It actually looks like they included that interior panel that you also find in your uh, bigger Yeti, uh, which is in fact not the case. This is one big molded section so the the whole front with the hood with those door sections the interior and then it's all the way coming around the back all of that uh what you see is like one part so uh you can detail this up you can take that driver's hats off and you can for example give this a coat of a uh, flat clear which is also what i will be doing but i think if you look at uh, the graphics and the way that it uh, that is detailed that it looks really good for uh, an 18 scale car now in the back you are almost uh, tricked into thinking that you need to open the battery tray like this with uh, the body being the way uh, it is right now with those body clips in but that's not the case if you take these body clips out so there's two tiny body clips in front you can actually flip the entire body over like so and then you have some proper access to that uh, battery tray so you can flip this open and uh, you can mount the battery over there hook it up and uh, start having fun with it so everything about this car is a micro so there's a tiny servo over here sitting under what is I think a combined uh, receiver and uh, ESC uh, then you have a 40 turn uh, brushed motor everything about this car is a uh, water resistant or waterproof I mean you don't want to fully submerge this if you look at the way that this thing is laid out with the trailing arms and whatnot I think they did a great job uh, the rear axle looks really good it has like a tiny uh, axial logo going on um, the drive shaft in the back is I think this is plastic uh, but then again it doesn't need to be completely beefed up in order to hold up uh, also in the front you see that uh, the out drives coming from the, the diff those two are also uh, like a nylon type of uh, plastic uh, most likely also to reduce weight and to reduce cost a tiny bit the links on the top and also the steering links uh, both of those are a solid plastic so there's no uh, adjusting those uh, now the ball joints that you have going on on the on the wheel hubs but also on the on the on the chassis side of things those are all brass so that's it is really smooth and there's uh, really nothing wrong with it uh, in the front those are universal so it's not like a dog bone solution this is of course uh, like the bigger Yeti a four-wheel drive car uh, really big universals as well so they're really thick and uh, stout uh, I like the way that uh, the shocks look plastic body shocks uh, but they are fully threaded so you can uh, adjust them a tiny bit I think that the shock oil in there is a tiny bit on the thick side so you have the the layout on it is completely similar to uh, the bigger Yeti so there's a smaller shock in the front where you have that independent front suspension going on then there's a slightly longer shock going on in the back uh, where you have those uh, trailing arms and I think one of the major differences uh, in terms of chassis layout is also to be found here in the back so those two top links that are separate in uh, the bigger Yeti if I just grab it real quick and show you so these are uh, separate links and then you can uh, well like I've did over here uh, you can add the sway bar they have not chosen to go that route for these smaller 18 scale Yetis uh, these two links are actually connected to each other with uh, with like a tiny bit of a webbing that also I think eliminates the need for a sway bar there's enough 
uh, flexibility in here to make sure that you still have a lot of articulation going on uh, and at the same time it keeps everything in check. Now these are method licensed wheels, they're a 1.55 size, they're BF Goodrich licensed tires, so there's still a whole ton of uh, licensed parts on a tiny car like this and uh, I don't know, I just think that it, it looks cool, uh, these, this added size to these wheels uh, compared to the other version uh, will also give you a tiny bit more uh, ground clearance, really turning it into uh, a pocket rock racer. And I think that's enough about this car, you can tell that um, uh, there's also there's uh, the option of uh, removing the cage in case you want to, so that's attached with uh, six screws in the bottom uh, going to that uh, pivoting point, so if you want to do some body work to it or maybe even if you want to blend two of them together, I will explain later what I mean with that, if you want to have for example this uh, interior bit over here with some of that uh, roll cage, if you want to have that in uh, the score version of this car, that's also a possibility, so it almost seems like right out of the gate they went ahead and they thought a tiny bit about people modifying these as well. Um, anyway, let's have a look at uh, the Yeti Junior Score Trophy truck. Okay, so again uh, the 10 scale, the large version that everybody already knows. Uh, positioned over here as like a comparison, I think we will see a whole lot of similarities uh, in these two uh, boxes. So you have again uh, double A batteries, uh, the USB charger, a 1300 milliamp Onyx battery, same radio. So uh, again, uh, tactic radio looks really good. And uh, also again, I already cut all the zip ties. Now check this out. Let's get the manual out of the way and the box out of the way. The Cartoon Yeti. Uh, it's not as funny the second time around. <laughs> All these uh, parts, so the shock caps and whatnot. I'm not really sure if there's a difference between the parts bags that you uh, get with them. It seems to be looking quite similar. Uh, yeah, so you get the same spare parts with uh, both of these cars. Now, if I take this out, uh, throw the car back to the side. You can tell that there's, well, there's a ton of similarities, of course, in uh, the way that the chassis is set up. But, uh, well, in terms of looks, it is a completely different car. I'm not sure if the internal gearing inside this one is a tiny bit different to uh, uh, sort of adjust it for the wheel size or not. Uh, but I guess that by reading the manuals, I can actually uh, find that out and uh, learn more about that. This one has four body clips, so it doesn't have that uh, nifty system that the Rock Racer version has, where you can just flip the body back and uh, access everything inside. This is a really cool looking body, I uh, must say. I like that they used uh, the classic score trophy truck version rather than uh, the modern one. That's also why I use the classic version on uh, my bigger Yeti score. I just think that it looks it looks cool with uh, all those vintage lines, those uh, harder edges, uh, those big headlights. And I think they really nailed it when it comes to the, the color scheme. Seems like there's a tiny bit of... Uh, it's almost like an American flag type of theme. So there's some stars, there's some red, there's some white, there's some blue, uh, some stickers that uh, show you that there's actually a lot of licensed parts going on over here as well. So it is, a, well, I can see Magnaflow King, uh, score B of Goodrich, uh, of course Method with uh, the wheels again. So all of this looks uh, really nice. Now what I can imagine that I want to do in the long run with uh, this body is cutting out uh, the windows uh, or maybe even getting like a clear body, seeing if I can fit uh, that interior in there just to add a tiny bit more detail. For now I'll just uh, drop it over here. Um, yeah. This is, of course, the exact same as uh, the other one that you have uh, seen already. So if you compare these two side by side, you will see that uh, everything is the same except for uh, the pivoting point in the back. So again, universals in the front, uh, ball bearings all around, uh, all these pivot balls, they're made of brass uh, in the back in the rear axle, that's the only thing that I can really comment on, that bearing is uh, really exposed, so that's something that you want to keep an eye on. Apart from that, I don't really see any reasons for uh, concern durability wise. Not sure at the time of this filming where price point is going to be on these cars, uh, I do think that if they keep it a tiny bit uh, reasonable that uh, I don't know, these can be, these can really take off. 
and it can be a really entertaining, fun class. Not just for those who just enter the hobby, but also for uh, more seasoned hobbyists, perhaps like uh, myself, taking these places where you're not supposed to have them and uh, organizing uh, little races or little obstacle courses and just having fun bashing these with your friends. So, um, well, in conclusion, uh, big surprise, really didn't see this uh, coming anytime soon. I thought if we would see something new from Axial that most likely it would be uh, a bit bigger, that it wouldn't be these uh, smaller scale cars. 18 scale is really not uh, a class that I would have seen them uh, venture into. But I am glad to see it happening, especially if, uh, well, around Christmas time, if you're looking to perhaps get your uh, kids into RC, uh, these will look really nice under the Christmas tree at, uh, well, most likely a price point that will not break the bank. So, well, uh, let me get the other box as well. Uh, there you have it, the Yeti Juniors, uh, the Rock Racer and uh, the Score Trophy Truck version. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, because I can imagine that uh, perhaps there's a ton of stuff that I didn't uh, fully cover. If you have any questions, then uh, leave them in the comments box. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave it a thumbs up. If you want to be ahead of what I'm doing over here, check me out on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. There will be links in the description box. Of course, also links to uh, the Yeti Junior Rock Racer and the Yeti Junior Score Trophy Truck. That one is really a mouthful, um, but I think really cool new and surprising uh, offerings from uh, Axial Racing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Back on.